My name is Plalas and welcome to Indie Bits, the show where I give my first impressions on new indie games. Today we'll be taking a look at Shop Titans for Windows, Android and iOS. You take on the role of a shopkeeper and as you can imagine your main responsibility is to manage your own store, but there is a lot to it. There are several mechanics to handle but the main one is using your materials like iron or wood which are restored over time to craft items such as armor and weapons. You then place these items in different displays and sell them to customers that walk into your store. There is even an energy meter that can be used to haggle the price. It is also possible to acquire new furniture or upgrade your already owned ones and increase the size of the store itself. When crafting items most of them just require the ones that are generated automatically, but some of them require special components. In order to get your hands in these components you must make use of a different system in the game which is questing. You start by choosing which heroes to hire to add to your party, you can then send them to gather a component of your choice and even though you won't actually control them during their adventure, when they return you can claim the items that you requested as well as other loot like chests. As they complete quests, these heroes also level up and you can use the same items that you have for sale to improve their equipment. Lastly, there's a social aspect to this game which are kills and the marketplace. Like most kill systems, you can create your own or join one and interact with your kill members by doing stuff like sending presents or helping them complete certain tasks. In the other hand, the marketplace allows you to buy and sell items to other players directly instead of customers. Now, one important aspect of this game is actually waiting. A lot of things that you do take time, crafting items takes time, upgrading your furniture or store takes time, sending your heroes on a quest takes time, and so on. But what if you want things to be done right away instead of having to wait, I hear you ask? Well, there is a simple solution for that, and it's called MONEY! Using real money, you can buy a premium currency that's diamonds, which can be used in making any activity that takes time instantaneous, or buy pretty much anything from exclusive aesthetic items to things that should be available to you yet. But to be fair, the game is free to play and you're not forced to buy anything to progress. There are obviously things that you can do while you wait and there is even a few methods to gain diamonds without paying like quests and achievements. They don't give much but it's something. I think the game is actually pretty good. It has good graphics and animations, solid user interface, a lot of mechanics and rewarding progression that makes it very addicting. But a less than ideal tutorial and so many microtransactions put a damper in the whole experience. Because because of this, on my should you try it scale, I give it a score of worth a shot. And if you would like to see more reviews on indie games, make sure to subscribe. Have a nice day.